Hi guys, I'm CA Gitika Bajaj, a QuickBooks Pro advisor and today I'm going to teach you a quick tag hack. Now what is that? Now basically if you want to get profit and loss uh, via locations in QuickBooks or via classes in QuickBooks, uh, you can get that but in subscriptions of QuickBooks Online Plus or Advanced. But below that, for example, in QuickBooks Essentials, if you want to get that, how do you do that? So this is a very good uh, hack that I'm going to discuss. Let's get started. Now, basically, instead of classes and locations, we'll be creating tags and then get the profitability report via tags. Let's so get started. What we're going to do is go to the banking tab and click on tags. And uh, suppose we have we are running a business and I'm having sales via two locations, one from New York and the other from California. So what we're going to do is create a new tag group first. So location and you can even select the color. So in case you're going to have many groups, uh, you can create the color. Suppose we're clicking blue here and uh, once that is that, you can add the tag. So one is New York, California, okay, so these are the two tags and let's click on that. Now, these tags can be applied to the invoices, expenses and bills, right? So, let's get started and create an invoice. Okay, and uh, we'll add the tag. Suppose it's New York. Okay. Now, if you've selected New York, you can't select California. That's obvious. But if you have multiple... Uh, tag group suppose if you want to get um, uh, information about how to you know from where you're getting sales via online via physical via some magazine so you can add that tag as well but since we don't have any other tag groups we're gonna leave it empty so you can select any service and just save this one okay now let's do one more thing and just copy this one and uh, create in california the same just you know select some other thing okay and just save it and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create some expenses as well Okay, and in the expenses again, we're going to type California and uh, any fees. Okay. It's 500 and just save it. Now again, we're going to copy this one and uh, create the one for the new New York. Let's see. Okay. Okay, so basically what we've done is we've created two expenses and uh, two incomes. Now, let's go to the reports and see how does this work. So, you just type tag here, profit and loss per tag group and display columns by locations because that was our tag group and just run the report. Now, uh, we're going to see the income, 1000 and uh, 500 is the expense. Again, 275 was the income here and uh, 500 is the expense here. So that's how you can get basically profit and loss for tag groups. And uh, even if you have some ungrouped tabs, you can select here. So I think so it's a great hack and a way to analyze the profitability. Now, instead of uh, location, you can also have um, the sources like how are you getting sales via magazines via online sales or via other xyz so you can create another tag group and rename it and display the profit and loss by other tag group name sources as well so i think so you like the video and do let me know how do you find it and whether you're using it currently in quickbooks online till then stay safe and yes don't forget to subscribe